This one's going to be on getting missing PPA keys uh, or GPG keys, they call it. Uh, it only works for Launchpad, so that means any um, you know Ubuntu derivative distros, uh, you can do this on your system too. Uh, so, anyways, let me give you an example. If I open software sources, and I'm just going to delete some keys. Okay, let's say uh, this Launchpad um, for Banshee or whatever. So remove that sucker, that one, and I don't know, maybe a few more. Alright, so remove all that sucker, close, and let's bust out a terminal. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. So if I do a, um, let's see, sudo git update. it's gonna give me an error at the end so we'll wait for that right all the keys that I deleted you can see that it says uh, GPG error um, that's because it's missing the keys uh, what you can do is use this um, like this one liner It's a long line though but um, let me show you what it looks like right here um, key. so this is the code um, right when you run this it actually just gets uh, all these keys for you so you don't have to manually go and add it yourself and this is what I use you know to save time like let's say for example you do a fresh install and you have all your repositories but you don't have the key and now you're gonna waste your freaking time to go and get it all right and I have this in a uh, alias here so I'm just gonna run auto key and it'll run this uh, whole command for me. Uh, if you know how to use a uh, bash RC file, then you know what I'm doing. I'll post a link on how to, you know, do a bash RC file also. If you want to go and uh, watch that, okay, then this will make sense to you. So, anyways, I do auto key, and uh, it's gonna get all the keys for me, all these missing keys that I uh, deleted. All right. And right here, see, is, is getting all the keys right there, and that's it. It's done. So you don't have to waste your time uh, doing it manually. And now, if we do a uh, what is it, uh, sudo app get update again, it won't ask us, uh, or it won't show that GPG error anymore. Right, perfectly done. Right here, right. Uh, so that's how that works. Now they actually do have different servers too, so let me show you that uh, also. So this was our uh, command right here, right? This whole line, and inside it, you can see that they have this server here. Um, these are like mirrors to the official Ubuntu one. So the official one is here, right? It doesn't always work because sometimes it's down or whatever. You can actually use. Uh, different mirrors here so this is the mirror that I'm using and you can actually replace it and use you know any of these other ones um, if uh, you know the main one does not work so that's what I use and I'll post these up uh, somewhere and you can add this to your you know your bash RC file and just use an alias and it's quicker that way anyways that's how you do that um, recommended for everyone that's on uh, the Buntu's that's it for this one.